Hello everyone, welcome to channel Geek Nepal. Today I'll be working on an AND, OR and blanking circuit. Okay, let's begin. Let's define some tag here. Let's say we have four switches. Switch two, switch three, Switch four, okay. Let's define a couple outputs here. Let's say we have a lamp here. Let's say we have a motor run. say we have a blinking output okay okay let's define some timer here let's say two two second timer You cannot start a variable with the number, okay? Second, second, two, TMR. This one is a two second off delay timer. Cool, okay, let's define this as a one second on delay timer yes it's one TMR okay so two of the timer register T0 and T1 are defined let's begin okay let's do the OR logic so OR logic basically explains either one of the logics should be on input should be on in order to make the outputs go on okay Alrighty, let's add the output here. Let's define this as a switch one. Alrighty, tag name. Let's do this. Okay. And this one would be our output lamp. Okay. Okay. And let's add one more normally open contact. Okay, deselect the line, okay, and let's make this switch to, okay, device, comment, okay, let's simulate this and understand the OR logic. When both of the switch, switch 1 and switch 2, both are off, the lamp is off. Any of the switch, when turned on, the lamp will go on, okay. Similarly, with the switch to the lamp turn on, both of the switch will turn the lamp on. This is OR circuit, either or OR, okay? And let's make a AND logic here by adding a normally open contact, one more open contact, and an output would be motor one, okay? Output here would be our motor run right okay so this one is switch 3 okay and this one is switch 4 okay okay so in order to turn on the motor either or should not work it's both of the switch should be turned on for example let's simulate it when switch 3 and 4 are on, the motor is on. Let's turn it off. If the switch 3 is off, the motor would not turn on, okay? And if both switch are off, the motor would not run. If the switch 
3 is on, the motor would not run. The, if both of the switch 3 and 4 are on, the motor would run. This is a AND logic, right? Can you use the normally closed contact here? Yes. Uh, for example, if you are using the e-stop circuit, you might be using normally closed contact here, right? To make sure you can, like, stop the motor during emergency, okay? Let's make a blinking circuit now, okay? Let's begin by adding a normally closed contact add a timer okay and let's connect this wrong here okay one already select this let's make this a timer register zero which is two second timer off delay timer okay and two second of reset okay and let's Add a normally open contact. Let's add a timer, second timer, which is be our on delay timer, one second of preset, okay, which would be our timer register one. Okay, and we will add already connect this line okay this this close contact would be our second timer which is timer zero zero one okay and this would be our first timer bit already okay I think you already see what's going on here okay if the timer this timer one second timer is not done okay it will be timing if this one is done this two second timer is done if it's done then the timer one second will be timing okay so basically on and off the timer will turn on for two seconds and it will turn off for one second that's how the blinking circuit will be made and let's add a wrong here and normally let's do close contact which would be our timer register zero okay and let's add a output which would be our blinking already okay okay and let's simulate and you will see what's going on okay this one is timing okay this one is now blinking because we have two seconds and one second is blinking, blinking slow okay what if we make it one second at this time and let's say this one second okay would that blink faster of course it should blink faster right yep yep and so basically this time will be controlled by the bit of this timer and this timer will be controlled by the bit of this timer okay and the, you can produce the output blink oftentimes within the industrial automation you might have a tower light stack light or traffic light that might need to be flashing this is how you can output the blink okay let's say we want to blink the let's say we want to add one more red okay and blink that one okay let's say already and output would be output would be red light okay already and okay do you see that the output red light is blinking 
okay this is how we can do the blinking circuit and logic and or logic in the ladder logic thank you so much for your time watching this tutorial i hope you enjoy as much as i make this video i'll see you in the next